Hi, I'm Kurt, Steve Ambrose. Hi, great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot for doing this. Our pleasure. This is the Aptera 2E. It is the first production vehicle from Aptera Motors in San Diego, California. Uh, the Aptera 2E is the most fuel efficient, most aerodynamic vehicle in the world. Uh, and one of the things that gives that away at first when you look at it is the shape. Uh, it's a shape that many have described as a shape that nature has already designed or discovered with streamlined creatures, uh, just dolphins or birds or things like that. And so in, in many ways we, we just look to nature uh, to figure out how to make a very efficient shape. The most surprising view of it really is from the back, where it really looks like a boat or a car. It's, 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 it gets completely thin mm -hmm. at the rear. Is that all about aerodynamics it, as well? It is. Uh, what we want to do is uh, the air is, is comfortable where it is on the road. It doesn't want to be disturbed. And every time we disturb it, it exacts a toll on us in terms of energy. And so uh, by tapering the vehicle down to a very small point, we allow the air to sort of reconnect with itself and not tumble or not become detached. Uh, we chose a three-wheel architecture because it was the most efficient uh, way of, of moving and supporting the vehicle. Yeah, going back to ancient Mesopotamia, when the wheel first was put on vehicles, it made sense at the time to make a square object and put a wheel under each corner. And so that carried over into horses and, and buggies, into cars. And it's just because it was our way of thinking and no other reason, no reason other than that. The new part owners of the large companies, the federal government, uh, also uh, finds your car alien, right? The, the, they, they won't regard it quite as a real car because it has three wheels. That's right. Even though we have designed the vehicle to meet uh, or exceed all of the uh, federal motor vehicle safety standards, uh, the government still considers us a motorcycle and uh, they actually rejected our application for a Department of Energy uh, alternative vehicle loan, uh, the one that many, uh, many concept vehicles from the automotive industry are, are getting part of that loan program, vehicles that don't even exist. Uh, we've pre-sold 4,000 of these, you know, over $100 million worth of vehicles. They go into production at the end of this year. Uh, and we were disqualified because we, we didn't add an inefficient boxy fourth wheel. Maybe you can drive my